Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a bounce text effect like what you, like what you just watched using Adobe Premiere. I'm going to show you everything step by step. So this is how it's going to look like at the end of the day. And then we're going to do this with no steps kits. Let's jump right into this. So I've already launched Adobe Premiere. And what we're going to do is that we're actually going to add our text. So just go to your tools here and then pick the type tool and then type whatever text. In my case, I want to type welcome to my channel so the first word is going to be welcome so just type welcome okay so i'm going to use the move to and then make sure uh enlarge this a bit okay and i'm going to position it a bit here in the middle okay so in the timeline i'm actually going to reduce the size a bit i don't want it to take the duration to be too much so something like just a second or two seconds is enough and then what we're going to do is that we're going to repeat the process for the rest so make sure you duplicate this press alt on your keyboard and then drag this in order to create another duplicate and then on the next duplicate let's type two like this and then make sure you position this in the middle use the move tool to actually position this in the middle you can actually enlarge this as well i think i'm cool with this and now i'm actually going to go ahead and then press alt and then do another duplicate like this and then when you move this so this is going to be mine okay so another last one is going to be channel so just go ahead and then do that and here we actually going to type channel okay so i'm actually going to use the move tool and then position this in the middle if it's too much you can just reduce the size a bit okay so now we have the text we want to use let me finally enlarge this a bit finally enlarge this okay so now we have the text we want to use for the bounce text effect now first select the if the first text here that's the first text and then we'll go to the so this is what we're going to do just make sure you go to the effect control and then select the scale make sure that is done and then on your keyboard press the shift and then the right arrow and you can see it's going to actually create this timeline it's going to create an anchor point here so just click over here and create an anchor point and then go ahead and repeat the process again press shift again and then add another anchor point okay so that is perfect now the, what we're going to do is that go to the first anchor point just go to the first anchor point here and then make sure you change the figure to 1500 okay you can see it's actually going to zoom in your, on your text and then go to the second anchor point here just go to the second anchor point and then make sure you change that toward 94 and then we're actually going to do that for the last one for the last anchor point just leave it at 100 and that is cool now if we go back and try to play this text this is actually how it's going to look like and that is amazing we don't need to repeat the process for the rest all we need to do is to right click here we're actually going to right click we're actually going to right click here and then go to copy copy the effect we're actually going to copy the effect here and then when you select the rest of the text here just right click and then go ahead and click on paste attributes okay click on ok do that for the rest do that for the rest click ok and then go ahead and do that for the last one also and then paste it for the last one and click ok now if we go back and play this text you can see it's actually going to create this bounce effect for us like this and then that is basically what we want to do we're going to get the bounce effect like this and then that for all now if you want to add any sound effect which i have if you want to create any sound effect i'm actually having one here which i'm going to use the whoosh sound effects you can actually get that free for miss kit so i can place that beneath my text here so before every text will appear you hear that whoosh sound so I'll just duplicate this and place it under every text. Each of the texts I have here, I'll place it over there. So now if I try to play this, see how it's going to sound. Okay, so basically this is how you create a bouncy text effect using Adobe Premium Pro. Now if you're done with everything you want to export it, you can easily go to File. And then go to export here and then go to media and then you export it as a mp4 
uh, or video format thank you so much for watching this short tutorial till i come away, away again don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notification bye bye